Next, we proceed to the rule of differentiation, the fourth, which is the chain rule. By using chain rule, so we have two terms. The first one, you need to differentiate y in term of u. For the second one, differentiate u in term of x. And then given the formula for chain rule, so we have dy dx equal to dy du times du dx. So let's say we have y equal to u cubed plus 2u square. Therefore, we differentiate y respect to u. So become 3u square plus 4u. And then another side we have u equal to 4x cubed. So differentiate u respect to x. So we get 12x square. So from here, we have dy ds equal to dy du. So which is we have 3u square plus 4u multiplied by 12x square. Now we can see, so we, we need to find y respect to x. So means our answer should be in term of x. So therefore, we try to substitute u is equal to 4x cubed. So from here, we have 3 times 4x cubed in bracket square plus 4 times 4x cubed multiplied by 12x square. So we try to simplify. So from here, we have 12x square in bracket 48 x power of 6 plus 16x cubed. So for the net rule of differentiation, so which is we have the product rule, the power rule. So let's say we have y equal to fx power of n. So therefore, to differentiate our function y, so become dy ds equal to we bring n as a power in front. So, become n in bracket fs. And then, the power we reduce should be n minus 1. And then, try to differentiate our fx. So, become f prime. Now, look at the example. For example, we have y equal to 3x square plus 2 power of 4. So, by using power rule, so bring a power first. So, we have 4 times 3x square plus 2 power of 4. So, therefore, from here we have dy equal to times 6x. Then, now we get 24x times 3x square plus 2 power of 4. 